a company owned by Iranian businessman Reza Zarab, a key figure in a high-profile corruption scandal that became public in 2013, ranked 13th among Turkish export firms in 2014, according to a report by the Haver Turk Daily on Wednesday. The Turkish Exporters Assembly, TM, on Monday released a list of the country's top 1,000 export companies in 2014. Zerob's firm Valgamda, with exports worth around $847 million, came in 13th on the list. According to Haber Turk, Valgamda's export activities in 2014 consisted only of jewelry. The company had not made it into the top 1,000 list the previous year. 2014 was also marked by Turkey's skyrocketing jewelry exports to Iran. Turkey's jewelry exports to Iran saw a rise of 5.123% in 2014 compared with the previous year, surpassing $900 million in total exports. Turkey's total jewelry exports reached $3 billion in 2014, with Valgamda responsible for approximately 30% of the total, the Haber Turk report stated. Zerab was the prime suspect in a corruption and bribery scandal involving the government that went public on December 17, 2013. He was accused of being the ringleader of a money laundering and gold smuggling ring in Turkey which circumnavigated sanctions against Iran. The businessman was among 21 people including the sons of three then ministers, a district mayor and other high-profile figures who were arrested in simultaneous police raids that took place on December 17. A criminal organization allegedly headed by Zerab, who lives in Turkey, was claimed to have distributed a total of TL 137 million, 66 million dollars, in bribes to the former economy and interior ministers, their sons, and other bureaucrats, in order to cloak fictitious exports and money laundering. In documents sent by the Stanbul Prosecutor's Office to Parliament, former ministers Zafer Aliyan, Muammar Guler and Ijmanba were accused of accepting bribes. The ministers allegedly flew on Zerab's private jet several times. The ministers implicated in the graft claims resigned shortly after the scandal. Stanbul prosecutors dropped the charges against the suspects in October 2014. In January, the Parliamentary Commission established to look into claims of corruption against the four former cabinet ministers voted against referring them to a top court for trial amidst allegations of the government placing heavy pressure on members of the commission from the ruling party.